Hello everyone, Kyler Baxter here, um, here with video number seven. Today we are going to talk about the B major and the B minor chords, and then we're also going to talk about the minor pentatonic scale today. So let's go ahead and get started. So B major and B minor, there's a reason why I saved them for last. They are difficult. They are not fun to play. <laughs> And a lot of my students in the past, they struggled with these chords. So let's take a look at a B major chord. If you look at your packet, um, you're going to place your index finger right here on the second fret on the OA string, just like this. And our pinky and ring are going to be married together on the fourth fret of the D and the G string, just like this. So here is B major. Make sure you have a fret in between your index and your middle and ring. That's important because it won't sound good. <laughs> All right, so here's B major. This one is weird because we're only going to play the bottom five strings. This is a B major. B as in boy, major chord. Good. Now, for B minor, leave these two glued and kind of staircase your other fingers like this. So my middle finger is on the third fret on the B string and my index finger is on the second fret on the eating string, the high E and the bottom. It should look like this. It's also kind of like a staircase, similar to C major. This one, unlike B major, is only gonna be the bottom four strings. That's, conf that's the confusing part. So this one's the bottom four, whereas B major like this is the bottom five strings. So get used to these chords because unfortunately they are common in music. So we do need to know these chords. So this is B major and this one's B minor. Just like that. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and move on from those two chords. Be sure to practice those chord transitions with the B and B minor. Um, also practice chord transitions with all the other chords as well, um, including these ones at the same time. So here is the minor pentatonic scale. Hopefully you can read this okay. Um, I don't know, I'll have to kind of look back in the video, but um, here is the minor pentatonic scale sheet. Um, so go ahead and turn to this page if you can. What we're gonna do here is first off, if you have a pen right next to you, grab a pen. Um, pause this video if you don't have a pen. Um, but anyways, we are gonna circle these as columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you what I'm going to do here. So you're going to circle these as columns. So here is column one. Here's where our index finger goes. I circled this. Here's our middle column. Here's our ring column. And here's our pinky column. So the one stands for index finger, two stands for middle, which you will not use your middle in this one, so that's kind of nice. Here's our ring, three stands for ring, and four stands for pinky. Um, so that's something to notice here. Now here's where we start, here's a little start, and then with an arrow, here's where we end, right up here. So we start down here, we go ba 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 ba. We end right there. So we start here and then we end over there. Um, so we go from here to here, 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 here to here. Um, kind of straightforward that way. You also notice that there's only two notes per string. Here's the Elvis string. Always does good before eating. There are only only two notes in each string. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this page off, the screen here. Let's go ahead and talk about how we play this on the guitar. So if you can go ahead, 
Find your fifth fret, which is going to be right here. Usually it's the second dot. Some guitars might be different though. So this is fret number five. Go ahead and bar, meaning just lay your index finger nice and neatly on that fifth fret. You do not have to apply any pressure right now. Just nice and relaxed. Okay, now bar each and every other finger like this and designate them to their own frets. So my index finger is on the fifth fret, my middle is on the sixth, my ring is on the seventh, and my pinky is on the eighth. Just like this. Cool. So, I want you to think like this is a box. We cannot leave this box. We cannot go over here, we can't go over here. We're staying in this box. Imagine an imaginary line going from here to here that we cannot cross. If you cross, you are sent to the dungeon. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it can, you, you just, it won't sound good. <laughs> so, here is the index finger. What I want you to go ahead and do is just pluck the index finger on the 5th fret on the Elvis string. Just this guy right here. Should sound like this. If you hear this, that's okay. That just means you don't have um, developed calluses yet. Um, watch for my previous videos for calluses exercise um, for help with that. So here's the index finger on the 5th fret right here. Then we're going to go pinky on the 8th fret right here. Then the next string we're going to go index ring. Here's index. Here's the ring finger right here. Next string we're going to go index. And then ring on the same string. And then index ring on the next string. Here's the ring finger. Then index pinky on this string, that's important. Now we're going to go pinky. Then index on the next string. And then pinky. So you go index, pinky, index, ring, index, ring, index, ring, index, pinky, index, pinky. So a good way to memorize this scale, I like to call it a single, triple, double. So here's the single right here and here. Here's the single. Here's the triple, index ring, index ring, index ring. And then here's the double, index pinky, index pinky. You kind of see that? So here, if I circle this area, it would be the double. Here would be the triple, and here would be the single. So, here's the single. Here's the triple, index ring, index ring, index ring. Notice how they're the same, and here is the double, index pinky. So that should help you to memorize the scale. Now, let's practice going down the scale and also up the scale. This will be a challenge, but you can do it. All right, we're gonna do it nice and slow. We're gonna pluck it four times each. So that way you have plenty of time to find the note. All right. So remember to stay in this box. You are not gonna move like this. Nope, you're gonna stay in this box the entire time. And notice how little movement I do with my fingers. I'm staying within their frets. I'm obviously moving down the strings, but I'm staying within their frets. Okay, let's start off with the index, nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, then pinky. Index on the next string, then ring, here's the triple, index ring again on the next string, index ring on the next string, index pinky on the next string, here's the double, and then index pinky. Now we're going to go back, do the pinky again, then index, then pinky on the next string, then index, 
then range, then index, then ring, then index, then ring, then index, and then end with the pinky and index. Very nice. So watch this video as many times as you want to practice this, but you're really gonna want to get to where you can do this. Keeping a steady tempo while you do this scale to eventually start improvising and creating solos like this. So, messing around, this is how you create solos, which is kind of cool. This minor pentatonic scale is how you create solos. Another cool thing about this minor pentatonic scale is it's easily movable around the neck. I could do it here. I could do it here. I can do it here, find my box, and do the same pattern. It's the same pattern for all of them. So I can move it anywhere I want around the neck, as long as I first find this box and then do the scale. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, you don't have to know why or how this is, but just know that this can be moved around the neck. So cool. Uh, in the next video, we will do a, um, exercise where we are going to solo, we're going to improvise to a song. We're going to do it with a jazz backing track in A minor, um, and we're going to solo, basically do this. We're going to have fun. We're going to talk about lead techniques where we're going to do slides, hammer-ons, pull-offs, um, and then we're going to do vibratos, three finger vibratos, three finger bends, um, and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks guys.